let's play court. I'll be the attorney, you be the jury. Can we trust our Bible? First of all, let me introduce the testimony of science, which demonstrates the Bible. The Bible says the universe had a beginning. Science tells us it had a beginning by the Big Bang Theory. The Bible tells us life is incredibly complex. Science tells us that there's a thousand volumes of an encyclopedia in a one-cell animal in the DNA code. The Bible says man was made from earth. Water returns to its source, Genesis 2, Ecclesiastes 1. The earth is round, Isaiah 40. The earth is hung in space, Job 26, 7. Life is in the blood, Leviticus 17. And the sea has paths in it, the testimony of science. Let me bring another testimony to the court. The testimony of the scribes who wrote the Bible. They claimed it came from God. They said, all scripture is God-breathed. They said, the Lord spoke by me. His word was on my tongue. Fifteen hundred times the prophets of the Old Testament said, thus saith the Lord. I saw in a vision, God said to me. They taught and lived the highest ethic known to mankind. They were willing to die for what they believed. And David on his deathbed said, the word, uh, the spirit of the Lord spoke by me and his word was on my tongue. Let me introduce the testimony of the scrolls that preserve the Bible. There are now 6,000 Greek manuscripts of the New Testament. They go back within 25 years, the first one, of the time it was written. Most other books from the ancient world survive on 10 to 20 manuscripts that begin a thousand years after the time of the original. Let me bring another witness to the stand, the testimony of the supernatural, which confirms it. There are supernatural predictions in the Bible made hundreds of years in advance. What city Jesus would be born in Micah 5, 2. When he would die, Daniel 9, 24. How he would be born of a virgin. How he would suffer for our sins, Isaiah 53. How he would rise from the dead, Psalm 16 and Psalm 2. The testimony of the Savior who verified it. Jesus claimed to be the Son of God, proved to be the Son of God by acts of God, and he said the Bible is the Word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will never pass away, not one jot or tittle. He said in Matthew 5, 17 and 18, and John 10, 35, he said the scriptures cannot be broken. The testimony of the stones was supported. No archaeological evidence has ever refuted the Bible. Thousands of archaeological finds support the picture presented in the Bible. The testimony of the structure or unity of the Bible which corroborates it. The Bible has great diversity, yet it has amazing unity. This is best accounted for by deity. The Bible uh, shows to be and the Bible proves to be the very Word of God. The testimony of the Holy Spirit who speaks through it to us, the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, Romans 8 and 1 John 5. He witnesses that the Bible is the Word of God. And finally, the testimony of the saved who are transformed by it. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Uh, the Word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. The testimony of science, of the scribes, of the scrolls, of the supernatural, of the Savior, of the stones, of the structure, of the Spirit, of the saved, all witness to the fact that the Bible is the Word of God. You can trust it. This is evidence that demands a verdict.